All right, quick update. I know it's been a couple weeks. The last video would have been the belly tank video. Since then, I've put my B motor in my Model A. Uh, I did have it fired up last night. Got it dialed in real quick, but uh, radiator's leaking. My Plan B radiator. <clears throat> Plan B radiator's even worse. It's like I either fix this one or find someone to fix it, but the neck broke off. This is brand new. This stupid thing was like six hundred dollars when I bought it and like everything you buy nowadays is just crap I mean it's just like beer can it's nothing nothing there compared to the original one which weighs about 50 pounds more and I'm pretty sure you can hit it with a sledgehammer and it won't even dent it <clears throat> but the core must have been frozen because it's just a sprinkler down here but every other tube is cracked open so that needs a recore and that ain't gonna be cheap but whatever so we'll see. I don't have any uh, solder or flux used up the blast of that a while back, so I'll have to make a trip in uh, into the hardware store. That's the A motor that was in the Model A. Still a good runner. Nothing wrong with it. I got plans. We'll see what happens. Lots of plans. So yeah, this looks pretty much the same because it looks the same. Unless you know what you're looking at, then you know it's a B motor, but. Otherwise, to the untrained person, it's just eh, just a stock motor. Then we got the old orange peel in here. Orange peel's been costing me a lot of money this year. Not that I'm mad about that, because, you know, I've gotten almost 12 years of pretty much maintenance-free abuse out of it. But uh, center bearing melted out of it last week. Well, not last week, but two weeks ago. Not a big deal. That was a quick, easy fix. I knew my brakes were getting kind of funky. Actually, the brakes are fine, but I knew the drums were getting funky. When I built this truck 12 years ago, uh, this thing was a rusty, derelict. Probably should have just been scrapped. The frame's not the greatest on here, but it's, it's solid. So the cab's been replaced. The cab was horrible on this truck when I bought it. Uh, you put the clutch in, if you didn't have the door closed, it would actually separate. So it's a different cab, different front clip. I think the only thing original to the truck Body wise, it's the core support, and I think that's it. And the glass. But the brake drums on here were crap back then. They were really rotten. Oh, they're sitting right here. Here's one of them. Uh, this one's actually not the worst. The other one's outside in the rain. But I remember when I got this truck, I pounded all the rust off, and there wasn't much left. The other one actually has a spot where it's, I think it's almost to the point of going through. That's all rotten there, and that's the one that's really warped. This one here wasn't bad, but if we're going to do one, you must do them both. But when I rebuilt the truck, I put all new brakes in it. You know, everything got rebuilt. So actually, the brakes are like brand new. I bought brakes. I bought everything for it last year. But actually, when I put the lining up next to what was on there, there's hardly any wear on them. So I wasn't going to put new on just for the heck of it. I'll keep them, put those in stock. I'm sure in the next 100,000 miles I'll have to do it. Uh, this wheel bearing on this side, the outer one was junk once I pulled this hub off. So that explains why this hub was always a little bit warm when I was hauling stuff. No big deal. New bearings, new seals, new drums, new studs. So that should take care of that. Right now I'm just got jacked up so I can fill this hub up with oil. Then I'll set it back down and recheck my differential. It's been raining non-stop here for the last week, so kind of sucky. Uh, belly Tank was at a car show last week, actually its first outing in general public, and we got two awards. The big air tank that looks like a torpedo, and then there's a curly Q there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Get a little bit closer. That's from the Wisco Kings. And uh, Screw COVID. And it's a big old screw. I thought that was pretty cool. And that one's from the Rooster Six Car Club. And I was at the Fire in the Hills Car Show. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is what I got going on, which isn't really much of anything. Uh, I should really be doing more, but I've been busy working and busy doing other stuff. So tomorrow I think we'll try fixing that radiator <clears throat> once I get my stuff. Got the directionals working in here. Made door stops for this thing so the doors won't fly open all the way. And all that piddly stuff I keep putting off. Uh, so yeah, 
quick update. I see it's already five minutes video, and we all know I like short videos because I don't have time. Ooh, look, messy workbench. Yeah, messy. All right, gotta go. Later, guys.